doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, he'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with a man whose go-to solutions to problems has been to kill them away. Remember what you promised Joe. Anna will not be safe where you're going. You can't bring Nick back, but you can still save yourself and Anna. Breathe. Focus. Think it through. Declan's already killed two people. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something quiet, simple. Make it look like you killed yourself. Took too many pills. Who questioned that? You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just, just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. stop it. Sam, Sam, Sam stop. There's a turret. Stop. stop. Sam, stop. 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 Stop the car. Sam, are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need. I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah! Uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here! I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! No! I'm losing control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? Do not freak out. You've been through this before. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. The question is, where does it lead? There you are. You and I need to talk. What? What's happening? Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. I'm losing control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a happen. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Wonder what's in store for me now. I'm back to square one. I'm always starting from the same position and looking at the same door.
Maybe it's not about which door I go through so much as which door I choose. I should just make a choice and stick to it. Always tackle a problem head on. Of course. There's no running away from it. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Don't need that right now. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. They both deserve to be happy. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. 
I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Which one are you? Sam, where are you? Sam? Sam? Follow me. You and me, Sam, we can do this. Sam, come with me. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just... I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? Don't leave, Muley. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Explain yourself to her. Or try to. As best you can. She deserves that. Hey, Bug, I'm gonna come back, sooner rather than later. You'll see me again before you even know it. We'll go fishing. Yeah, sure. I'm not stupid, you know. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault! I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once.
town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. You're leaving town just like that. You're leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old- He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. Maybe tell him you'll call. I'm sorry, I have to go. It's not because of you, though. It's me. I just don't want to go into it right now. Don't worry, we'll stay in touch. No, we won't. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I... I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside, at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back, no matter where you go. I know you don't want to talk about it, but he's your son. I know the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. conversation was over. He's not having a good time at school. He has trouble socializing. Now, what does that even mean? He's having some trouble making friends, that's all. He's always talking to himself, to his imaginary friend. Imagine. I had one his age. If you had real friends, he talks to himself more than he talks to other people. We should consider what the one teacher mentioned. He doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on him. They're not remedial. They're programs meant to help him with his social skills. 
It could be good for him. My son is not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. I'm ready. Hey. 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 It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. Especially to Joan and Anna. You're finally back on the right path? I believe... Some of the credit is mine. It's real easy for you to judge me from your space inside my head. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human, and there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. You make it sound so easy. I'm not sure I'm ready to let it go. It'll take a lot of work, but we can get you there. No one can enjoy life when they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. What about the world? Everything has a price. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one.
I sacrificed so much effort just to make myself miserable. I've had enough. You just have to care more about the people around you and less about everything else. I know. I'm ready. It's not gonna be easy, but you and I, we're gonna get there, together. Anna probably went off after what Dickie left up here. You can't let her be out there alone. I know, but it needed to be taken care of. I concur. Hurry, Sam. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. I know. I had a bit of a panic attack. I'm really sorry I put us in danger. That's over now. I'm in the here and now, 100%. All right. Glad to have you. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. Probably time we find those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. 
And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You're no different from the people you used to put in jail. How do you live with yourself, knowing what you sell is destroying people? Grow up, Sam. Anyone would do the same if they had the chance. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Anna's gonna try something. Declan, listen to me. Think about what you're doing. Is this what you want? You killed Nick. You killed Dennis. You're running the drug ring in Basswood. If only you could have left it at that. But you had to poke around again. Now I have two witnesses to deal with, thanks to you. This is bad. Be careful. Every word will count from now on. You have to lower his guard long enough for you and Anna to gain the upper hand. It's gonna be hard, but remember, I'm with you. Every word of the way. Tell me exactly why I shouldn't kill both of you right here. Keep your cool. He's not gonna shoot if he thinks he has better options. Otherwise, he already would have. Because it's not what you want. The sooner you understand it, the better. I've changed my opinion of you, Sammy. You're not that clever. What he means is, two more dead bodies will draw unwanted attention. It'd be easier to let us go. We'll both stay quiet. <laughs> Maybe you should let Anna do the talking for you, Higgs. Look, I don't want to do this, but I promise. It ain't personal. Don't delude yourself. Nothing is more personal than this. And you won't do it. What makes you think that? Seen into my soul? Three people gunned down the same day is bound to attract attention. You're a cop, Declan. You know the next strangers in town will be the feds. I could make you disappear. Ditch your corpses somewhere. No one would know. Come on, Declan, we talked to people, followed leads. And if we just go missing, Walter, Bess, people who know us will ask questions. You seem to think you can just walk away. Go ahead, tell me how that happens. Buy us, then. Your drug money for our silence. Samuel Higgs. Ask him for a bribe. That's very interesting. It's an insurance policy. If we participate, we become criminals as well. We won't be able to turn on you without ruining our own reputations. Why should I trust you? You're you. You care about stories, not people. You published that article and sank the whole town, leaving saps like me to clean it up. If I let you go, Who's to say it won't be the same thing all over again? I told the inconvenient truth once, and it destroyed my life. It destroyed a lot of lives. I won't make that mistake again. Learned your lesson, huh? I'm not so sure, Sam. I bet you're the one that tipped the police off about Dennis's body. Even though that meant painting a huge target on your back, I made sure of that. But killing you is more trouble than it's worth. 
You're right about that. So how about you just hand over the evidence, Anna? Nice and easy. It all comes down to this, Sam. Anna's about to jump him. Keep his attention on you. It's better for everyone this way. You win, Declan. Good call. I expect you two to keep your end of the bargain. You asshole! Exactly what I had in mind. Hello? A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please. Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however, the journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Oh, Sam. Nice to see you up and about. Him again? He really wants to be a part of this community, doesn't he? Wait, scratch that. He really wants to look like he's part of this community. Nice to see you again. Paying your respects? I thought I'd wished Anna my best. What affects the community affects us all, Sam. Lots of well-wishers. Kathy, Walter, Bess. Makes me feel a touch like a ghoul. Well, sometimes it's what it takes to be part of the community. I know how it feels to be outside looking in. Very astute. Putting down roots is a rather active process. Us outsiders have to stick together. Can't let the insiders know how much they scare us. No, we cannot. I feel so selfish keeping you away from everyone. I'm sure Anna is waiting for you. You have a good day. N no. You have a good life, young man. I'll try. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. I'm so glad she's finally out of the hospital. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but it don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. See? Told you promising him you'd keep his daughter safe was a good idea. Who knows, it might have even given you the extra boost you needed against Declan. But you did do good. Well done, champ.
Anna did good too. I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for her. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. You know, Anna told me how things went down up there. Said you getting inside Declan's head saved her skin. I just talked, said anything and everything and whatever. It worked out. <laughs> she said as much. Well, whatever you did, it worked. I'm glad you were there. I know you're really here for my daughter. And today, you're not the only one. Lots of good people have come around to see how she's doing. Don't you be a stranger, Sam. Not a lot of people with a good handshake left. Where are they? Where are Dad's notebooks? The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites. I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now... She's completely shut me out. She's still trying to make sense of all that's happened. She's been through a lot. Maybe Basswood just isn't the right place for her anymore. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, I'm not here to judge. I just want to help. I know, I know. Sorry. I've just been dealing with so much lately. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Now, Sam, we need to be really careful about this. Kathy's already on edge. Joan noticed her mom is overdoing the painkillers, but we can't just kick the door down and confront her directly. Kathy, Joan is distant because she feels you haven't been yourself lately. She told me at times it's like you don't see her. It's nothing against her. I've just been working myself ragged, and I hurt my back, and... She said it wasn't just that. She's noticed the pills. It's the only way I can deal with my back, and it helps with... with other things. Look, I can't imagine how hard it is to raise a child by yourself, but I don't want to see Joan grow apart from the last parent she has. Oh, God. I... I... I didn't realize it got that bad. You're right. I need to get help. Sam, could I... Could I count on you to help look after Joan every now and then? She needs the people she loves close to her right now. I'd love to. I get along better with her than most adults. I just... I thought I could do this alone. I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you. And if you ever need something, know your family. I should really say hi to the other guests. Take care. Hey, Bug. Hey, Muley. This one is all you. I never could get a read on her. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. Like you don't know it yet, but you will be fine. Eventually. <laughs> it sure doesn't feel that way. Give it time. It will. And you have to keep in mind one thing. You're not alone. Your mom will always be there for you, no matter what. 
What about you? Are you staying this time? I'm not sure yet. Oh. But I promised your mom I'd help keep you out of her hair. You did? Of course. I figured you might be happy to have me around every now and then. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Every now and then. So, we'll get to hang out again? Like in maybe board games at the coffee shop? Just like old times? Anytime you want. You're the best, Mealy. <laughs> I'm alright. Listen, I need to find Anna now. I'll see you around, okay? The sooner the better. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? Well, let's say that I've had better weeks. Not a hard thing to believe. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The basswood jungle has printed its last pages. Consider taking some time to think it through. This doesn't sound like you. My first week in the bullpen, you said to me, the pen is not a sword, but a shield. You take this town's shield away? Using my own words against me. <laughs> Believe me, I wish there were another way. But I lost my flame, and there's no one to pick up the torch. Except... He's gonna offer you to be editor-in-chief. He never liked you leaving in the first place. Though, he is missing the obvious. Anna, she's connected to this place in a way that you aren't. She'd be the right choice. If you're not interested in the position yourself, that is. You. I see no one more up to the task. You've proven time and time again you're the quintessence of a journalist. <laughs> I should have told you a long time ago. Thank you, but no. This town and I have too much history. Quite right, quite right. It was a silly idea. What about Anna? I can't think of anyone who cares more about Basswood. Anna? She's always been a bit of a freelancer. I hadn't considered it. Though now I feel like a real Tom Fool. Do you think she'd take it? We won't know until you ask her. Wonderful. But Samuel, make sure this isn't goodbye. And next time I send you a text... I'll answer it. Walter. I promise. If I can give you a small piece of advice, a good life is one where you keep your friends close to your heart. So much stuff. Anna won't have to buy food for weeks. I probably should have brought her something to eat, too. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, 
or even just little old me. You give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. She's worried about her re-election chances as sheriff. She's playing cleanup for the whole police force right now. Before you answer, just remember, it's always nice to have a police chief as a friend. It wasn't your fault. No one saw it coming. I still would have trusted him with my life. He was serious, dedicated. Looking back, maybe obsessed. That's a rot that grows deep under the floorboards. I didn't see it either. What happened isn't on you. Thanks, officer. Bess, hon. I've known you too long for you to call me anything else. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. Yeah, I meant to get here before you, but I had to stop by the cemetery on the way. Finally paid Nick a visit. Still doesn't feel like he's gone, right? I was still thinking he'd come greet me when I opened the door, you know? Feeling okay? Is it crazy to say it feels like the longest day of my life is finally over? I honestly know exactly what you mean. I've had other days like that, or I thought were like that. Makes me worry I have some even worse days lurking ahead. Hey. I'm the one that got shot. You don't get to be the depressing one. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what about you? How are you compacting everything? I have the past properly compacted in my mind, Vice. I'm okay. Like, really okay. Hopefully you can teach me that trick so I can get to be okay, too. At least it's over. Whatever was on Nick's laptop is gone forever. But so are the bad guys. The scales are balanced. If you say so. It's just... It's just... Want to tell me what you're doing here? Talk about the little details that don't add up and don't really matter? You better not be taking my happy ending away from us. It's just that... Okay. So, I talked to Walter. How would you like to be the next editor-in-chief of the Basswood Jungle? What? Are you kidding? I'm not. He's about to retire. I promised I'd talk you into it if you tried to turn it down. I don't even know if I'd want it. You know... I could use a job. If you don't want to do it, I'm sure Walter would... Don't you dare! I do want that position. Okay, uh... If I'm doing this, I might need help. What about you? Are you leaving town again? I'm still thinking about it. I'm keeping my options open. Well, think about it, Sam Higgs. You'd be welcome. Anytime. I am gonna need business cards. Um, no one uses business cards anymore. It's the 21st century, Higgs. What's old is new again. And think about what Walter would want. 
<laughs> well, business cards it is then.